Okay, so I know it's called Things We Love. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to dress this up because I don't love it. I'll say thing I love is how unpredictable football is. Um, but I actually hate that this has happened. And that is that Kylian Mbappe has not joined Real Madrid. And, and that's not necessarily the thing that I hate. I hate that PSG are in such a powerful financial position that on the back of a global pandemic, and the back of the time when French football has been in disarray because they cancelled last season um, and everything else that's going on in the world. And on the back of the fact that Leonardo a week ago said that if Mbappe wants to leave, we won't hold him back, but it'll be on our terms. They have refused an offer of 220 million euros for a player whose contract is out in a year. That is absolutely ludicrous. Like, what world are we living in here? And what chance does anybody else have when PSG are playing? Well, they're making up the rules. They're literally making up rules here because I don't don't know how they've even managed to get in the players that they've got, yet alone then reject something like this that would have covered it all. Um Look, Madrid absolutely went for it the past week and, and trying to get Mbappe. And I think they they had such a war chest that um, they thought they <laughs> they thought they'd get it done. Right? They haven't. They'll get him next year for free. And PSG don't seem to care that they're going to get him for free. I I can't get my head around it to be honest. That that a football club is yeah has such financial power that they've managed to reject. An offer of over 200 million euros. What's going I on? That, I think there's a lot of people very, very confused. And I think it's completely reasonable. I mean, I'm confused. I think we're all a bit like, whoa. Um, you know, and I think maybe the strange thing about all of this is there kind of seemed to be this, we'll sell him if you meet our valuation of him. And and then Real Madrid, I don't know, assumed that PSG just assumed that Real Madrid wouldn't do that. And then they just did and they were like nah nah actually no we changed our mind and it's you know a little bit you feel for Mbappe now it's not the end of the world for him he's getting to play with Neymar and Messi for a year you know you can't it's not it's not I feel sorry for killing Mbappe but there is clearly this element that he is a Real Madrid fan he's always been very clear in his desire to, to play for Real Madrid I think almost he would have gone right okay fair enough they, they want to keep me until this value if you said before Dean that there's sort of a, a, not a gentleman's agreement but Kylian Mbappe said to PSG I won't leave for free before and now you're looking at it and he must be looking at it going well hang on I'm gonna have to leave for free because otherwise they might just never let me go yeah I mean it'd be interesting to see how this all this plays out over the next few months won't it I mean I'm sure Mbappe will just keep his counsel keep his head down and and score goals like he did at the weekend. Um, but what a situation we find ourselves in now. Um, very little doubt in my mind that he, he's going to become a Madrid player anyway. Um, it is interesting. You know, I pe- you know, I keep getting asked the question, but why are they spending this money when they can get him for free next year? Like, why are they wasting so much money? And as I, the only thing I can think of is that they see such an opportunity to win La Liga this season with him that it seems worth it to them to put everything into that. 